This is the god roll of the Midnight Coup in Destiny 2. It has just recently returned with the Into the Light event. And in today's video, I'm going to break down exactly the roll you're looking for, along with how to fast focus farm it so that way you can get the god roll as quickly as possible, which is only important because the shiny versions of these weapons are part of a limited time event, meaning if you don't get the god roll before the final shape, then you never will. So let's go ahead and break it down. In the right hand column, when it comes to damage perks, we've got Rampage, Kinetic Tremors, Zen Moment, One for All, Frenzy, Open shot and the new perk desperate measures out of all of these damage perks the most powerful one is one for all and normally i wouldn't advise getting one for all on a hand cannon but because of the perk explosive payload in the left hand column the two synergy between these two perks is just so perfect that i highly recommend that you use these together i'll go over their perfect synergy in just a moment but before i do so i want to break down why we're not using some of the other perks rampage while it is a good damage increasing perk you'll find that in challenging content the timer is just a little too short and you won't be able to get to the maximum stacks and maintain that maximum stack buff damage consistently when you're doing stuff like grandmasters or doing contest mode raids kinetic tremors is a newer perk to destiny 2 and it requires six hand cannon shots in order to get it procced and the problem with that is that you really just shouldn't be shooting a hand cannon at any target where you need to hit it six consecutive times usually when you're shooting your hand cannon it should be at red bar enemies and the hope is that you'd kill them in one or two shots if you have to shoot a target six consecutive times just to get your damage perk to proc it's really not very optimal and probably in scenarios like that it would be better for you to use Use your special ammo your power ammo or your abilities zen moment is the next perk up on this list so if you're going to take the midnight queue in a pvp i'd recommend that or possibly opening shot then on to one for all which is damaging three separate enemies in three seconds gives you a 35 percent damage buff the biggest damage buff of any of these perks and like we mentioned before explosive payload has aoe damage so one explosive payload shot can actually hit up to three targets meaning you can proc one for all with one singular bullet with a hand cannon giving you an instantaneous 35 percent damage increase for 10 seconds and because explosive payload is a passive perk that will always be there, you'll always find these benefits to buffing your damage with one for all. So the synergy between these two is just so perfect and I highly recommend that you use them if you can get that god roll. However, if you can't get the roll with one for all, Frenzy is also an excellent perk as well. And you'll find that it just has really consistent and really good uptime. So nothing wrong with a Frenzy roll of the Midnight Coup. And the next perk we're going to talk about is of course Opening Shot, which is obviously much more of a PvP perk. And we're here to break down the PvE god roll for this video. If you do like this video, I'll bring you a god roll guide for the PvP god roll of the Midnight Coup. Next up, we have Desperate Measures, which is a new damage perk. And it's not too bad of a perk, but it does require weapon kills and ability kills. And you may not always have infinite abilities depending upon the build or the encounter that you're in, but you will always have infinite bullets because the Midnight Coup is a primary ammo weapon, so you'll always be able to proc one for all, giving one for all the best damage perk in slot for the right hand column for the God Rule Guide of Midnight Coup. Down the left hand column, we have Outlaw, which is excellent for reloading the weapon quickly. We have Firefly, which is a fan favorite because of the explosions. Who doesn't like to watch a room full of enemies explode? Then we have Shoot to Loot, which is also an excellent option, especially when you're in encounters where you can't quite reach out and get that ammo. This allows you to shoot that ammo from a distance. Then, of course, we have Explosive Payload, which has become a staple in PvE because of its damage increasing benefits without actually having to do anything in order to proc those benefits. After that, we have Moving Target, which is going to be a part of the PvP God Roll, especially if you're playing on Control out there. Then we have Attrition Orbs, which is dealing sustained damage, creates orbs of power. And while it might seem helpful to create more orbs, we can simply do this by just adding a Kinetic Siphon to our helmet. No need to have this perk on and lastly we have enlightened action which is going to improve the reload speed and handling by dealing damage which is also an excellent perk but not nearly as powerful or as potent as explosive payload with explosive payload and one for all we have double damage perks and in almost every situation in destiny 2 more damage equals better we're not trying to make love to the witness we're trying to kill the witness and we're going to need the most powerful weapons in order to do so and this is now the meta defining kinetic hand cannon replacing the fate bringer simply because of its origin trait right here which is going to give you grenade energy if you get a kill with a light subclass or darkness energy or melee energy if you get a kill with the darkness subclass so this should feed into your abilities quite nicely it says here it gives five percent grenade energy for the light subclass and five percent melee energy for the dark subclass which is really just the cherry on the cake for this weapon right here now let's break down the rest of what we're looking for for that five out of five god roll we've got tactical mag here this is going to add another bullet in the magazine 10 reload and five stability bringing up the magazine to 13 overall this is definitely the ideal magazine to look for for that five out of five god roll of the midnight coup and for the barrel we're going to go with fluted barrel so that way we get that plus 15 handling making swapping to this weapon and from this weapon smooth and effortless handling gives the weapon an overall better feel and with fluted barrel and everything else on this weapon we actually end up with 75 handling overall which is going to make this weapon feel extremely nice lastly we will go with a mass work in the reload speed category if possible of course simply because we don't have a reload perk like enlightened action or outlaw so we're still going to want to reload this weapon pretty fast and in order to do so we're going to get our reload speed up with the reload speed masterwork, capping us out at 76 
6 reload overall and giving us the exact 5 out of 5 god roll we're looking for as we tackle challenging endgame content in Destiny 2. This will be a staple in your arsenal when you're doing Grandmasters. If you're going to take on the new Witness Raid in the final shape during contest mode, this will almost certainly be one of the top 10, top 20 weapons that the best players in the world will choose to have on their character as they launch into the new raid in the final shape. So I would highly recommend that you get yourself one during this Into the Light event. And if you want to do so, here's how to get one as fast as possible. You're going to simply load into the Hall of Champions, which is located in the Into the Light event. You're going to head to the right over here and you're going to interact with the Attunement of the Midnight Coup. This will actually make the Midnight Coup drop a lot more for you. But if you don't have that option available for you, then you need to go up to here, the vendor that's right next to Shax, and you'll have to beat a bounty where you have to get a bunch of kills with a hand cannon. After you've completed that bounty, then you'll be able to attune to the Midnight Coup, and it should drop from you a lot more when you do the Onslaught activity. And anytime you turn in your Brave trophies right here, you should get a Midnight Coup. For example, I'll turn in 10 right now. Let's see what we get. Hey, just like that, we got one. This roll right here, it has Firefly and Frenzy. Not too bad, but not the God roll. Best of luck to you out there grinding for that God roll, though. If you do get a decent roll, share a screenshot with me on Twitter at Lucky10P, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications on. Follow and like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Later.